Welcome back to another vlog. Today, we're pulling the front tire. The, uh, Baron S edition. Uh, one of these is, uh, the Transax out of the other one sitting right there. That's going to my diesel one day. But, nice day out, working with the doors open. So, yeah, I make a vlog. So, when it was cold and wet, I didn't have a nice dry floor to work on. I tried pulling this wheel and tire off for my Alice here. I got the other one off, you can see it's, it's a nice wheel and tire, it's holding there, it's painted nice and all that. But this one, she's flat. And yes, the motor is out of this, it's right here. Uh, I just realized something, if you hear traffic noise, I'm sorry, not much I can do about it. But, uh, yeah, working on the motor right now, trying to get spark. I couldn't get to the uh, magneto on the back, it's brand new, but I'm not really sure how to do it so i pulled it apart so i could get a better look at the wires and all that stuff but that's this project so i need a good wheel and tire for the other side so that's where this one comes in and you might be asking why is there a tire under the hood that's because that's going to replace this because it's a bad tire and i want the good tire to go on that tractor so that's today's mission also if you may remember there's a cat right there so I cut my stack in half. I used to have a it's like this tall, real big boy on there. No more. Uh, yeah. I put a new wheel on it. I don't know if I ever showed that in the vlog. I'm gonna be putting a new seat on it that's lower, lower center of gravity, one for one. And the back is lower, so you know I can do the gangsta lean when you're pulling, you know. If you ever watch one of them videos, you know you know how it'd be. Uh so we're going to grab a pair of channel locks. Maybe a screwdriver if it gets to that point. And, uh, yeah, let's see where we can go with this. So, got my selection of tools. The door's going to blow shut on me. Well, you can't see, but, yeah, rubber mallet, screwdriver, channel locks. What we're going to try and do here is take this on the outside edge, pound it in. And, uh, see if we can, uh, pry this cover off. Or not pry, but at least loosen it up so it's easier to take off. Because right now, it won't come off. And that's an issue. That's how you pull the wheels off. Usually what I'll do is I'll just pound it into the cap. But I don't have, I do have a spare cap. Okay, you know what? This cap might get destroyed. And if not, they're probably cheap somewhere. I can just buy more. I like this one because it had paint on it, but you know, can't see with everything. Usable, I can just spray them black or something for now. The old wheels and tires on that tractor actually had like spray paint can caps for the the dust covers, which I think was a pretty smart idea. They looked like it worked well. Mm. These are kind of a pain. I don't know how long I'm gonna beat on this till I get bored and I want to just. Send a screwdriver right into it. Is it good enough? <laughs> yeah, she ain't moving right now. Although that was a bad, bad grip. Uh, let's see here. And hard. So we're gonna try and just nail the screwdriver right into the side of it here. And if I get, get a hole poked in it, I can crush the cap and it'll become smaller and I can get it off. Clean some of the paint off of it and see what I'm doing. This is difficult. Hang on. I'll uh, get back to you when I have a hole in the wheel here. 
What has wound up working best here is uh, I jacked it up a little bit, and then I got a bigger hammer, obviously. And then you just pound it, and she's starting to come loose, actually. Just gotta pry from the other side a little bit. It might come off. Here. So this is just the process I've been doing for a while now. Catch you when it's probably off. Mission is a success. Caps off. I did hit it a little hard. I bent it. But, uh... It's really greasy in there. I don't know why it was so hard to come off. I mean, that thing is caked. It's like, really full, actually. Probably could use a little less. But, uh... I'm going to get a rag so we can clean this up, grab an Allen key, and we'll uh, get into the wheels here. Alright, so, grab my rag. Let's uh, clean that up so we can see what we're doing. Got me an Allen key. I'm just going to put it in like this. Shouldn't be hard to break loose. I think it's packed full of grease. This is called. Wait, oh, is it loose? Hang on. I might have broken it loose. Nope. I don't believe so. So, uh, use this thing called an impact, right? Get your hammer. Bam. Knock your phone over in the process. Tripod's all funky now. Uh, right, let's try that again. Bam. Oh, yeah. Knocked it right loose. Alright, now that that's loose, we just pull that off. And then, so I slide stuff out of the way here. Try that up. Move the hammer. Because there's no longer hammer time. Uh, actually, set this inside the cap. And then, should just be able to slide that back, get the wheel a good tug. Pop the bearing out. This will jack it up some more. Those sides right off. Perfect. Just what we wanted. And then, uh, that, that already has bearings on it, so you can slide, slide this back on. Actually, hang on. Slide that off. Change my hand for a second. With my rag. We gotta pop the hood. Cause. Oh, oh, hmm. Ran into an issue here. My bad wheel and tire is out. Ooh, a valve stem cap. I'm gonna need that. Nice. Put that over there so I don't lose it. Um, which way does this go? This way. Alright, now we're going to take this wheel and tire, turn it up, slide it on. Get it on. There we go. Slide, slide it on. We're going to sit back down so we got good uh, working. I don't, know. I don't know what my point was there. Slide this horse back in. Put our retainer. Gra grab the reta retainer. Oh, yeah. Insert. And then slip that on. This thing is so packed with grease. It's not even funny. Somebody just went, oh, this thing needs grease? Alright. I'll pack it. And they just went to town. Alright, nice and tight. And slip this back on. There it goes. Maybe it doesn't go. Oh, there we go. Perfect. 
like that, we change the wheel and tire. Now this has got to go back down by the other shed, so it's out of my way. And you can see why this one's bad. I mean, it's kind of evident. Hey, the jack matches my tractor. Nice. Move that back. Collect our tools. You know, the boring parts of repair. I'm just gonna pile it on my engine table. I'll clean it up later. Uh, suppose we can uh, do a little start up on the diesel. Let's get a little start up action. Oh, I forgot my keys. This thing was just running, so it shouldn't be that hard, but uh. This thing doesn't have steering, the thing kind of like fell off, so I gotta walk behind it and kick the tire once in a while to get it to go straight. Got to put up over here with the rest of my junk. Uh, in the shed, there's more junk. But uh, that's going to end this video. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next one. Have a great day.